Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm41975 and today we're back in GTA. We're going to be customising the Dundreary Landstalker XL today. It's a $1.2 million SUV that got added in the latest uh, summer special DLC. Now, you guys know that I'm not really a an SUV fan. Um, it is obviously a four-door vehicle, and I believe it does have some reasonably good customization. So I'm doing this purely for video purposes, but I just want to say now I really don't like this vehicle. Um, but if you're interested in watching it, then obviously we are going to be customizing it today. Just before we get into the video, though, if you want to see any customization of the BF Club, the new Yuga 4x4, the Yosemite Rancher or the new Coquette. I did a live stream the other day where I customised all four of those vehicles. I'll leave a link in the description to that video and in the pinned comment of the live stream I've also made a time card for each of the separate vehicles so you can skip to the customization of the one that you want to go and watch. But let's go ahead and customize the new Dundreary Landstalker. As I said, it costs 1.2 million. It is in the SUV class. I've already bought it right here. Um, not much I can say about this vehicle. I don't even know what it's based on in real life. Um, it's ugly as hell. I'm not really an SUV fan. It's kind of a soccer mom kind of vehicle um it is very loose at the back end which we'll get into that um when we take it for a drive in a minute but first let's go and customize this thing and see what it has to offer all right so we're in the shop i'm not going to bother with any of the armor and brakes and stuff we're just going to go into the visual stuff so we've got the stock front bumper we've got a lip spoiler which is just down there it's just like a little carbon splitter down there we've got the street splitter which is like an actual splitter we've got the sport splitter we've got the race splitter and we've got the bolt-on extended splitter i guess we'll go for the lip splitter because that kind of matches the style of vehicle that it is um on the rear we've got the stock we've got the custom bumper how is that different um, oh, so that vent on the back there is just a little bit bigger. We've then got the street bumper, um, which has like a bit of a cutout for the exhaust. And then we've got the street bumper with the secondary color trim. Um, I guess... I guess we'll go for the street bumper. I don't like the secondary colour down there. That looks a bit weird. The engine, we can upgrade that, but I'm not going to. The exhaust, so stock, we just have this single um, sort of chrome tip exhaust. You can have the double oval exhaust, which looks really weird. Um, we've got the dual oval exhaust which uh, basically is just the stock one, but then there's an exhaust on each side. We've got the quad exhaust, two on each side. We've got the bull, dual boxed exhaust, sorry. Um, looks a little bit weird. We've got the large oval exhaust. We've got the uh, rounded dual exhaust, which is basically like a titanium tip version of the dual oval. We've got the dual angled the dual large angled uh, that looks really weird and that is it i'm gonna go for the double exhaust system that one there looks uh, i'm going for like a sporty kind of look so that's why we've gone for the splitter and like the quad exhausts that is sort of the build i'm going for we can go for a mesh grill the honeycomb grill the secondary stock grill how is that different to the Okay, so it's just all secondary instead of having them like black lines. We've got the billet grill, the medium grill, and we got the secondary heavy duty grill. I quite like the mesh grill, that looks like quite sporty, so we'll go for that. On the hood, we've got the stock, we've got the twin scoop vented hood, we've got the large scoop vented hood, the double vented hood, the middle twin vented hood. The bolt-on intake hood, the intake vented hood, 
and the chrome vented hood um i'm not really sure i guess the intake vented hood is like sporty but i don't really like that um i guess we'll go for the twin scoop vented hood that's kind of like the most sort of suv sporty looking one we can do horn and lights but i'm not going to bother with that there is a few liveries we've got the white uh, single white stripe we've got the two-tone paint so it's basically like black on the top and then the secondary color like is a little trim that goes around the uh, outside and on the rear bumper and like around the grill and stuff and then it's the primary color on the bottom we've got the black flame livery the army camo we've got yeti mole ninja uh, it's like another camo one we've got the two-tone digital camo so it's just camo sort of on the bottom and the top is just normal we've got blood splatter which i mean the car's already red so it doesn't really show up that much but um there's like a blood splatter we've got the uh Cessnanta nove half tone uh, which is just like on the bottom and we got the bigness x livery which is like uh, all around it um, you get this on a lot of the high-end vehicles and on some of the suvs and that is it um I don't really think I want to go for any of these. They all look a little bit weird. I don't really like any of those, so I'm going to leave it just stock without a livery. On the uh, mirrors, you've got the stock mirrors, which are actually the secondary colour. You can have those in plastic, which would just make them black, or you can have them primary. I guess since we're going sporty, we'll go for the black. Uh, the plate will set to black the respray color now i don't really know what color is going to look good on this we could obviously go for like a black because black is like quite a sporty color uh we could go for like a silvery kind of color um let's just have a little scroll through see what colors look good we could obviously go for like a blue um the browns don't look that great um i think we're gonna go for like a dark steel that looks quite like sporty like quite high-end and then we'll go silver pearlescent the secondary color um you can now see like what is secondary is like all of those parts we could go chrome for that that's like quite high-end looking um i want to see how it would look matte black because we've got obviously the black mirrors uh that blacks everything out that looks quite sporty we'll go for the matte black uh on the roof um so we do actually have a sunroof which is quite cool that's a nice unique part of this car we've got the um rack rails we've got the roof bars which is basically like a primary colored version of that we've got the vertical roof rack we've got the ski rack we've got the small roof basket and we've got the large roof rack um do we want to go for a do we want to go for a roof rack i don't feel like a roof rack is like sporty like if you saw an suv it would like a sporty suv wouldn't really have a roof rack so I'm not going to go for a roof rack um, we'll leave that on the skirts we have got a few skirt options we've got side skirts which is just like a sort of sporty sky side skirt we've got the chrome side step we've got step boards which adds like an actual like step plate and we've got that in a chrome option and then we've got a ridge side step which is plastic we've got that in a chrome version we've got the running boards and we've got that in a chrome version i think just the the side skirt uh, looks quite nice the suspension um we can drop this thing quite a bit um it is quite like it does sit quite high as standard um so i'm going to drop that down on competition suspension the wheels i really don't know what wheels are going to fit this so let's go to the suv category and see like what wheels in here might look good none of these 
Um, these all look a little bit... Uh, oh, they don't look too bad. Um, it's really hard picking wheels for some of the SUVs because some of them look a little bit weird. I think the Sunrise ones, and we'll go ahead and paint them black. Yeah, that looks a lot more sporty. And we're not going to bother with any of the tyre stuff. We'll just go ahead and put a light smoke on. And that is the thing fully customised. It does look a lot better now, actually. Um, I still don't like the vehicle, but it does look better. Uh, so let's take it now downstairs and uh, see how it performs. Okay, so we're outside now in the Landstalker XL and when I originally drove this thing to the garage, I did notice the back end is like very slidey, so when you turn like corners and stuff, um, the grip in the, in the rear is quite lacking, so if you take a corner at any speed, then it does usually let go. I mean, it didn't just then, because typical I'm talking about it, but like there, it did a little bit. I did handbrake it a little bit just to make a point, but it really does let go. You can see there, that was without handbrake and it just lets go. So it is quite slidey on the back. Um, it does look quite good now. We've like sported it out a bit. Um, it does pop flames, which is quite cool. Um, as I said, I'm not really an SUV guy, so I'm never really going to like this vehicle. If you are an SUV person, though, I guess it is quite a cool addition to the game. Um, the back is actually giving me some, like, Dodge Durango kind of vibes. So um, I don't really know what the vehicle is fully based off, um, but it is giving me those, like, kind of vibes. Um, but that is going to do it for the customization of the new Landstalker XL. If you have enjoyed this video, then please smash the like button and subscribe if you are new. Over the next couple of days, we're going to be customizing all the brand new vehicles. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, then please stick around, do subscribe. But that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.